Hello class, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to find the derivative of the function using the product rule. When we say product rule, meaning in our given function, we have multiplication. So in this formula, we have two functions of f of x and g of x. Now as you notice, wala tayong operation in the middle of the two function. So meaning that is multiplication. Then we are asked to find its derivative. Ngayon, yung formula natin, as you can see, we have f of x times the, the derivative of g of x plus g of x times the derivative of f of x. So, ang unang gagawin muna natin dito para makapag-solve tayo is isa-separate natin yung f of x and g of x then kukunin natin yung derivative. Okay? So, let's have example number 1. y equals 2x cubed minus 5 times 4x squared plus 6. So, bago tayo mag-solve, kailangan i-identify nyo muna kung sino yung inyong f of x and g of x. So, in this case, ang ating f of x is yung 2x cubed minus 5. Then, ang ating g of x is yung 4x squared plus 6. Then, to use the formula, kailangan, after natin ma-identify si f of x, kukunin din natin si f prime of x or yung first derivative ni f of x. So, dito we have f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 5. So, para makuha si f prime of x o yung derivative ni f of x, you applying the power formula, so, 3 times 2, we have 6. Then, x. Then, 3 minus 1. Okay? Minus the derivative of 5. Since 5 is constant, constant so that is 0. Okay? So, therefore, our f prime of x is equals to 6x squared. Next. G of x is equals to 4x squared plus 6. So, getting the first derivative of g of x, we have 2 times 4. So, that is 8x. Then, 2 minus 1. Ayan yung ating power formula. Plus, derivative of 6, which is constant. So, that is 0. So, therefore, our g prime of x is equal to 8 x raised to 1 or 8x. Okay? Then, after natin makuha si f prime of x and g prime of x, we can now use this formula. So, the first derivative of y is equals to f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x so that is equals to so let's substitute we have f of x which is 2x cubed minus 5 times yung ating g prime of x which is 8x plus g of x which is 4x squared plus 6 times f prime of x so, that is 6x squared. Okay? Then, after nun, simplify natin yung ating function. So, ang ating y prime is equals to 8x times 2x cubed. We have 16x raised to 4. Then, 8x times negative 5. That is negative 40x. Next, 6x squared times 4x squared, so that is 24x raised to 4. Then, 6x squared times 6, we have 36x squared. So, after natin ma-distribute yung dalawang monomial, ko-combine naman natin yung like terms. So, we have 16x raised to 4 plus 24x raised to 4, so that is 40x raised to 4. And after none, we have 36x squared 
Then, ang ating last term is negative 40x. So, this will be the first derivative of our function. Nakuha ba guys? So, we have two ways on how to find the derivative of the function when it comes to product rule. So, dito, as you notice, sa given pa lang natin na meron tayong um, dalawang binomial, so, sir, pwede ba nang gawin natin, i-multiply natin itong dalawang binomial using the FOIL method? Pwede yun, guys. No? So, try natin. So, pag in natin yung FOIL method dito, we have 8x raised to 5. Then, for the outer, we have 12x cubed. Sa inner naman, we have negative 20x squared. And for the last term, negative 5 times 6, that is negative 30. So, kung mapansin nyo, we have a polynomial. So, pwede natin siyang applyan ng ating power formula. Okay? So, y equals 5 times 8. That is 40x, then 5 minus 1. Plus 3 times 12. So, that is 36x, then 3 minus 1. Next, 2 times negative 20. That is negative 40 x squared minus 1. Then, derivative ng constant, that is 0. Okay? Then, pag sinimplify natin yung ating function, that is 40x raised to 4 plus 36x squared minus 40x. Then, as you can see, parehas lang yung ating nakuwang sagot. Okay? So, pwede kayong mamili guys kung ano yung gusto nyong gamitin na way. Pero para sa akin, mas maganda, masanay na kayong ginagamit yung ating, um, yung ating product rule. Bakit? Kasi pa, what if kung yung given natin dito, uh, one of the binomial is nakaraise ng cube. Okay? Paano kung may cube yan? So, kung hindi kayo sanay sa product rule, may hirapan kayo dito kasi iye expand nyo pa yung 4x squared plus 6 cube. Di ba? So, pagka nag-expand nag kayo nyan, so, maaaring magkaroon pa kayo ng problema doon. Kasi haba masyado yung ating given. So, mas maganda, sa simula pa lang, uh, sanayin nyo na kung ano yung form ng ating given, yun yung gagamitin yung formula. So, dito, ang form natin is we have multiplication. Di ba? We have f of x times g of x. So, dapat ang gamitin nyo is yung ating product rule. Okay? So, let's have another example. Number 2. Example number 2, we have 3x squared plus 5x minus 8 times 3x minus 1. So, again, uh, ang ating first step, i-identify nyo muna sa ang ating f of x and g of x. Then, as you notice, uh, wala tayong operation sa gitna. So, that is automatically multiplication. No? So, since it is a multiplication, we can use the product rule. Okay? So, ang first step natin, let f of x is equals to 3x squared plus 5x minus 8. Then, getting the derivative of f of x, so that is 3 or 2 times 3, we have 6x. Then, 2 minus 1, that is 1. Or 6x na lang. Plus, derivative ng 5x. So, that is 1. 1 times 5, that is 5. Then, x. Yung x natin dito is magiging x raised to 0. So, that is 1. So, leave na natin 5 na lang. Then, derivative ng constant na negative 8, that is 0. Okay? Next is yung ating g of x, which is 3x minus 1. So, kunin natin yung derivative ni g of x, or the g prime of x is equals to 
derivative nun 3x, so that is 3. Then, derivative nun negative 1 is 0. Okay? Then, after natin makuha yung e prime of x and g prime of x, we can now use the product rule formula, which is f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times e prime of x. Okay, then substitute natin. So we have f of x which is 3x squared plus 5x minus 8 times g prime of x which is 3 plus g of x which is 3x minus 1 and 3x minus 1. And for the f prime of x, we have 6x plus 5. Okay? Then after natin ma-substitute yun, simplify natin yung ating function. So, distribute lang natin dito yung 3. So, we have 3 times 3x squared, that is 9x squared. Then 3 times 5x, we have 15x. Then, 3 times negative 8, we have negative 24. Next. Dito naman, we have uh, the product of two binomials. So, gagawin natin is FOIL method. For the first term, we have 18x squared. Outer, 3x times 5, that is 15x. For the inner, negative 1 times 6x, we have negative 6x. And for the last term, negative 1 times 5, that is negative 5. Okay? Next, after natin ma-multiply, yung ating mga polynomials is combining like terms. So, we have 9x squared plus 18x squared, that is 27x squared. 15x plus 15x, 30x. Minus 6x, that is 24x. Okay? Then, negative 24 minus 5, that is negative 29. So, this will be our final answer. So, dito nagtatapos ang ating video. If you have any questions or clarifications, pakisulat na lang sa ating comment section below. So thank you guys and bye.